Hi all, it's me Anne from Geeks of Green and today I will tell you about the most common mistakes people tend to make while water propagating cuttings. If you avoid making this, these mistakes, you will have more success with your cuttings. If you like making plant babies and propagating them, you can also check out my other videos on propagation by division and my propagation station makeover. That's just right behind me. I'll leave the links for you in the description down below. Before I start, I would like to invite you to follow me on Instagram for the various activities, daily plant updates that happen there and most importantly to be a part of a very fast growing green community. So let's get started. <laughs> Point 1. Don't neglect changing the water. I have heard many say it's okay if you don't change the water out, but there is wisdom in changing it out every few days or at least once a week. Water has oxygen that is essential for the cutting to grow. Every few days the oxygen will get depleted, so when we replace that water with fresh water, we renew the needed oxygen for our cuttings. And we also get rid of the carbon dioxide buildup. In doing this, we are keeping our cuttings happy. Point 2. Don't submerge leaves in water. Be sure not to submerge the leaves in water as they will eventually rot. If you do encounter such leaves, all you have to do is pluck them off. A plant cutting just needs one or two leaves and a node. That's all that you need for it to root in water. So you don't need to have too many leaves on your cutting. In case of plants that have a crown, the crown must not be submerged as it will cause the plant to rot. So the level of water is also very important. Do not just fill the bottle blindly. Always be mindful of how much water you put in. Point 3. Don't forget to check for mosquito larvae. This point is mainly for you and your family's benefit and not for your plants. I am very careful to regularly change the water as I have seen mosquito larvae, these tiny wriggling things swimming in the water. And the thing is, even after changing the water, I would see them hiding in the roots and back they would go back to wriggling as soon as I have kept the bottle back on the shelf. So when I change the water, I would also wash the roots and be sure that there is no lava hiding among the roots. This is extremely important to do as we are responsible for our family and our society and we cannot harbour any breeding grounds for mosquitoes that spread dengue and malaria. The life cycle of a mosquito after laying eggs to becoming an adult mosquito takes around 8 to 10 days. So be sure to keep a keen eye on those glass bottles. For this reason, also ensure you use clear see-through containers. If you are already changing the water regularly, then you don't need to worry about this. Point 4. Give the cuttings adequate light. Light is important for a cutting to survive. It still needs to make energy to survive and grow. However, too much harsh light is not good for it as it will get stressed. So it is essential to give it bright indirect light. I initially used to keep plants on my kitchen windowsill that has no access to any light other than tube lights in the kitchen. When I shifted them to a sunnier spot, I saw an immediate change in how they grew. Sometime back, I made a propagation station like I had mentioned earlier uh, on this wall that doesn't get any direct light but gets indirect bright light and my cuttings are really happy. Point 5. Don't water propagate plants that can be easily soil propagated. The roots that grow in water are very different from the ones that will grow in soil. It will be troublesome for the plant to adjust when you plan to transplant it into a soil medium. Almost all the water roots uh, might die and you will observe that the plant will either be stunted for a long time as it is trying to grow roots or the cutting may simply die and not survive. I usually like to experiment with cuttings and have gathered that many plants root excellent in soil mixes and don't need to be unnecessarily dunked in water. I know we like to see roots grow and all, but if you mean business and want optimum success with cuttings, then think twice as to which cutting you want to water propagate. For example, the red ruby alternanthra and my begonia venusa both easily rooted in soil as compared to water. So I'm never going to root them in water again. Plants like my pedilanthus, uh, curly pink, the tradescantias, the calicias, the peleonias, all of them and many more can just be simply plucked and poked into a pot of soil. I assure you they will grow without a fuss. Think about nurseries that propagate plants in large quantities. Do you think they propagate in water? 
I don't think so. Point six: Don't forget to callus succulent-like plants. Fleshy leaves like that of the sansevieria must be calloused. Callusing is simply letting the part that you cut dry out a bit before putting it into water. Cut the leaf and set it in a place that is warm and that doesn't receive any harsh direct light, but bright and direct light is fine. And leave it like that for a few days so that the cut dries up completely. If you forget this step, chances are the leaves will simply rot. Point seven: Don't let the roots grow too long, or don't remove your plants out too soon either. Be patient and observe. Roots will grow. Remember, for some plants, you will see fresh roots sprouting in a few days, and for others, you may see no sign of roots for months. Every plant will root differently. A pothos will root quicker than a sansevieria. So, unless you want to grow a particular cutting hydroponically, you must remove the cutting from water as soon as you see about inch long roots. That is when you should transplant it into soil. Be careful not to remove it too soon either, because then the purpose of water propagating is lost. If this video helped you in any way, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. It really helps us. And also, if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, please go and do that and hit the bell icon for notifications of new videos. Remember to follow us on Instagram too. And I hope to see you soon in the next video. Till then. Stay green.